Hi, today I have two multiply choice questions for you. And the first question is what percent of the typical human loci are heterozygous? And you have uh, five answers that you may choose from. And whether you know answer or not, or you also, of course, can guess the correct answer. Uh, but I think this is enough time for you to choose the correct answer, so I can give the right answer, and the right answer is B. Only about 5% of all loci uh, in human genome, for example, are present in the heterozygous form. So 95% of our loci are present in homozygous form. So now uh, is the second question, how common is genetic polymorphism in natural populations? And answer A, essentially all loci are polymorphic, B, essentially no loci are polymorphic, C, depending on the species, all loci are polymorphic or none are, and the last answer is depending on the species, more or less than half of the loci are polymorphic. And uh, if you think that you need the time to think about this uh, last question, you may stop video here, take your time, then run video again when you would be ready. And I will give you a correct answer. And the correct answer for this question would be D. So depending on the species, more or less than half will say are polymorphic. So uh, you may wonder why uh, about half uh, all size uh, have uh, many different alleles and only 5% of them are present uh, as uh, in, in the heterozygous form and the answer would be because uh, uh, not uh, different variants of the genes considered to be alleles uh, scientists consider allele uh, only such variant of the gene that is present uh, in more than uh, 1%. So if uh, you have one allele that is, uh, say, uh, present in 99% and another one, or 99.5 and another one uh, would be represented as 0.5%, this uh, doesn't consider to be allele. It would be considered a mutant gene so um, not all uh, genes have uh, so many uh, variants and uh, most of them just have uh, different forms of uh, mutants and those alleles that is uh, present uh, in many forms are not distributed evenly for example if one gene has uh, uh, say five variants or five alleles it doesn't mean that one allele roughly about 20 percent uh, its occurrence but uh, probably uh, it would be um, fair to say that one uh, can be like something like 80 or 90 percent occurrence and uh, all the rest four uh, types of alleles may just represent small portion like 10 or 20 percent altogether so this is all for today thank you for attention please subscribe to my channel i post new videos almost every day goodbye